Some classmates ask me a very good question. You introduced the, the autoregressive model and the moving average model to me, but what is the difference between the two? How can I use these two models to perform some time series analysis? This is a very good question. Let's talk about the difference between the two models, AR and MA models, in this lecture. Before we talk about the example, let's have a quick review on the AR and MA model. If you look at the, the AR model, this model assumes that the current value is dependent on the values that happens in the previous days. Because of this assumption, we can build a linear regression model between the value of the current day and the values that happens in the previous days. But uh, if you look at the MA model, this model assumes that the value of the current day is dependent on the error terms, including the current error terms and the previous error terms. What is the key feature of the error terms? They are random, right? There is no linear relationship between the current value and the, the error terms. So if we want to use the MA model, we cannot build a linear regression relationship between the current value and the error terms. This is an overview of the difference between the two models. But I think it will be better if I use an example to show you the difference. Let's take a look at the example. In this data set, I collected Facebook stock prices over a one-year period, as you can see here. They are ranked according to the date's ascending order, and then I have the closing price. Let's perform the AR analysis first. First, I want to make a copy of this data set. Let's press and hold the control key on your keyboard, and then drag the FB to the right side. And then you will get a copy of the data set, right? Double click FB2, and then let's change to FB AR. Press enter. As we just discussed, if we want to use the AR analysis, we assume that we can build a linear regression model between today's stock price and the stock prices of previous days. Let's say we want to look three days back. That means we can build a linear regression model between today's stock price and the stock price of yesterday, stock price of the day before yesterday, and the stock price of two days before yesterday. So let's reorganize this data set. Let's change the title row close to T. That means the stock price of the current day, right? And then in C1, I want to type in T minus one. That means we want to collect uh, the stock price of uh, yesterday. And then T minus two, stock price of uh, the day before yesterday. And then T minus three, stock price of uh, two days before yesterday. How can we get T minus one, T minus two, and T minus three values? They are here. They are in the T column, right? Let's copy from B2 to the last cell in the B column. Let's make a copy. And then in the T minus one column, I want to do this. I want to choose cell C3 as a starting point and then paste the values I just copied. What does this new column mean? These are the stock prices of yesterday. Let's see an example. Let's say today is November 22nd, 2016. We want to find the stock price of yesterday. What is it? It should be one day back, right? 121.77. This is what we got from uh, yesterday. Let's see another example. Let's say today is November 23rd, 2016. We want to look at yesterday's, yesterday's stock price. It would be the stock price of November 22nd, right? $121.47. This is what we get from yesterday. This is how you get uh, the stock price of uh, yesterday. What about uh, two days back? It's very simple. We just uh, click uh, in the D column, we just click uh, D4. We choose D4 as the starting point. 
and then paste the values we just copied. In the E column, we choose cell E5 as the starting point, and then paste them. Notice that we have some uh, empty cells, right? We cannot use empty cells to build a linear regression model. So let's just remove them. Let's select the second row, third row, and fourth row. And then right click on these rows. And then click uh, Delete. At the end of this data set, we also have some uh, empty cells. Let's choose the last uh, three rows. And then right click on these three rows and then click uh, Delete. Now we are ready to perform the linear regression model. Let's click a data tab on the top and then choose data analysis and then click a regression. Let's choose the regression option. Click OK. For the Y range, we need to choose the T column. Let's click the button and then select B1 to the last cell in the B column. B249. And then in the Y range, we need to choose the T-1, T-2, and T-3 columns. From C1 to E249. The last cell in the E column. And then check labels, and then click OK. This is the linear regression model we got from uh, our time series analysis. First, you need to look at the estimate for coefficients of t-1, t-2, and t-3. They are all positive numbers. That means the stock prices of previous days have a positive influence on today's stock price. And then you want to look at the p-values of these three factors. Which one is significant? Looks like among the three factors, only t-1 the value of t minus 1 is significant. What does this mean? That means the stock price of yesterday has a significant influence on today's stock price. And then we want to look at the R-squared value. It's almost 100%, right? That means previous trading days can highly explain today's stock price. How can we build the final result model? Let me type it in. I want to type in Y parenthesis T. This means the current stock price equals to the coefficient of the significant factor 0 0.96. 0 0.96 times Y parenthesis T minus 1. This is a linear regression relationship between the current stock price and the stock price of yesterday. How can we use this model? Let's say we want to predict tomorrow's Facebook stock price. And the current stock price for Facebook is $100 per share. And then we replace yt-1 with $100. We use 0 0.96 times $100. 96 would be the predicted stock price according to our current linear model. This is how you use the AR to perform time series analysis. Let's talk about the MA model. Let's go back to the original data set. And then we want to press and hold the control key on the keyboard and then drag the FB tab to the right side. And then we want to double click FB2 and then change it to FB MA. We want to perform the moving average analysis in this spreadsheet. Press enter. When we use MA model, we cannot build a linear regression model between today's stock price and the stock prices of previous days. What we can do is to use the average value of the previous stock prices as the predicted value for the current stock price. This is how. In C1, I want to type in a title. Let's call this a predicted. Let's say we want to use the average value of the stock prices three days back as the predicted value of the current stock price. 
because we want to look at three days back. So the first day we can predict is the fourth day, right? It will be in cell C5. In C5, I want to type in a equal sign and then type in average. I want to use the average function. And then I want to select uh, the stock prices three days back. It will be B2, B3, B4. And then parentheses. Press enter. This will be the moving average value of uh, the fourth day stock price. I can do the same for the next day. In cell C6, I want to type in equal sign and then type in average. And then let's choose cell B3, B4, and B5. This will be the predicted value according to the moving average. I can do the same for the rest of the cells. I just need to click on cell C6 and then double click the autofill button to predict the rest of the C column. What if I want to use the moving average to predict tomorrow's stock price? I just need to click uh, the last cell in the C column and then drag the autofill button of uh, C252. According to the current uh, moving average model, $178.84 would be the predicted value for Facebook tomorrow. This is how we use a moving average. Moving average is relatively simpler than the AR analysis, but uh, in practice, in stock analysis, we usually use the moving average. Why? Because the, a stock price is influenced by a lot of unexpected factors. They are very similar to the error terms. The unexpected events just randomly happens. We cannot control it. There is no linear regression relationship between the unexpected event and the stock price. That's why you can see in practice, the MA model is more frequently used in the stock analysis.